Holding, tilting, and twisting the milk bottle to make latte art is no longer a unique skill of a barista. Instead, a humanoid robot in Beijing could be seen spinning hearts in a cup of coffee. In China, the robotics industry has developed rapidly, creating a strong impetus for economic and social development. Let's discover how China's AI robot is making great strides for humanity. At the inaugural World Robotics Conference, or WRC, 2023 in Beijing, various humanoid robots overwhelmed visitors with dancing, basketball, and other abilities. Since the beginning of the year, the development of basic AI models has provided technical support for the industrial application of humanoid robots. More and more robot developers are using AI-based models to control smart robots. China issued guidelines for the robotics industry for the 14th five-year plan phase, 2021 to 2025, in December 2021. The country is striving to become a global robotics innovation hub by 2025, bringing together a group of leading companies with international connections. Compete and form several industrial poles with international influence. Wen Huan Yu, algorithm engineer at UB Tech Robotics Corps Limited, said, Thanks to fundamental models of AI, humanoid robots have seen their automated decision-making capabilities enhanced in application scenarios in the real world. Unlike robotics that receive simple instructions from humans, Wen said, humanoid robots already have a certain level of systematic understanding. After hearing the I'm thirsty voice command, Yu Yu, a panda-like robot from UV Tech on display at WRC, walked over to the refrigerator, opened it, took out a glass and closed the door with his other hand like a human. A humanoid service robot called Cloud Ginger with more than 30 smart flexible joints attracted a lot of attention at the booth operated by Data Robotics. Cloud Ginger is connected to the cloud platform and robot GPT and has multimodal communication and interaction capabilities. He can take on various roles, including that of a dancer, performing the intricate Chinese choreography, thousand-handed bodhisattva. These humanoid robots don't just show off their abilities at exhibitions. They have also been implemented in schools, service departments, and other places. For example, many of X-Robot's humanoid robots have performed manual labor at conferences and exhibitions, in hotel services, as well as in education and aged care. With ever-expanding scenarios and application ranges, they will penetrate factories, farms, and every household. Driven by various factors such as standardized disease prevention and control, the aging population, technological advancement, and political support, the value of service robots can be explored in more detail. This industry has quickly passed the education stage of the market and entered the development period of the golden age of development. China started to develop robots in 1972 with the support of national policies, the research and production of service robots in China has completed much work and achieved concrete results. In 1995, Tsinghua University developed a mobile nursing robot with seven degrees of freedom that treats people with high degrees of paralysis to get medicine and water and read books for patients who cannot access them. Now, in 2023, home service products such as iRobot and Ecovax have entered the life of ordinary consumers. Toy-like service robots are rapidly gaining popularity with discerning customers, and the industry has entered the startup area. Vice Minister of Industry and Information Technology Zhu Xiaolan said that the strong development momentum of China's robotics industry and continuous breakthroughs in core technologies have laid a solid foundation for the technology development of humanoid robots. According to industry estimates, the global market size of humanoid robots will reach 1.9 trillion yuan about 263.9 billion US dollars by 2030, of which the Chinese market accounts for 376.2 billion people. Policy support and innovative teaching models introducing artificial intelligence technology are the key factors driving the rapid development of China's educational robotic solutions industry. The educational robot market base will continue to grow. The market is expected to reach CNY 3.3 billion by the end of 2023. In the future, with the development of logistics and storage facility automation, the demand for mobile and logistics robots will continue to increase. Affected by the long-term shortage of nursing staff and the growing aging trend in China, the demand for healthcare robots has increased. In the future, the medical robot industry will be more commercialized. Under the influence of the hustle and bustle of life, new sweeping and mopping robots will meet consumers' home cleaning needs. In the past two years, the demand for food delivery robots in various situations has increased due to the pandemic and the popularity of contactless services. The market size is expected to reach 3.2 billion CNY by 2026. At the social level, the continuing decline in the birth rate and the increasing aging problem is gradually eroding China's demographic advantages, and labor costs continue to rise. 
In such a situation, the emergence of service robots can replace part of the workforce, reduce business costs, and promote industry development. The restaurant and delivery industries can currently use service robots to perform simple and highly repeatable tasks. In addition, the contactless economy is encouraged after the epidemic normalizes. The demand for intelligent receiving and unmanned retail has increased, which has provided a new direction for the Chinese service robot market. On the technological front, advances in smart and high-tech solutions have fueled the growth of the service robot industry. The development of service robots is based on the application layer of artificial intelligence. The technology layer of artificial intelligence, such as machine learning, image recognition, natural language processing and other cognitive and algorithmic technologies and big data, affected. With the development and application of deep learning algorithms, the ability to apply machine learning and visual interaction to service robots will continue to improve, becoming one of the core drivers for the development of the industry. So, without a doubt, China is one of the leading countries in applying robotics and artificial intelligence. Last year, the country saw the first robotic dentist successfully operate on a patient, and there are plans to build an AI-powered unmanned police station in the capital. Both of these developments show signs of China's progress towards becoming a world leader in AI by 2030. However, becoming a leader in AI also means using this technology in the labor market to replace humans. More recently, China has done this by using automation to increase its supply of bombs and shells. Speaking to the South China Morning Post, or SCMP, Chu Zigang, a researcher at the Shenyang Institute of Automation under the Chinese Academy of Sciences, said that nearly 25% of China's weapons factories had replaced workers with intelligent machines. Interestingly, China is not switching to AI just because it wants to be the first country to adopt it. Rather, it was because factories lacked people willing to work in such a dangerous environment. Many accidents have occurred in recent years, resulting in injury or death. Safety concerns are so great that the 20 to 30 factories built in the last 60 years are all in remote locations or in less populated areas. A single spark can cause a huge explosion and send the factory into a crater state, too sad. The risk of fire is our biggest challenge. It hangs above my head like a sword. However, even before the accident, workers were exposed to toxic chemicals while assembling ammunition, forcing them to wear masks and gloves. This is not the most attractive job, and is probably better suited to automation work. Since the introduction of automation in factories, AI equipped with artificial hands and eyes has been nearly five times more productive than humans and can assemble a wide variety of ammunition, including artillery shells, guided bombs, and rockets, with efficiency and perfection that some human workers struggle with. They're also fatigue-free, a plus for any industry looking to deploy robots. With productivity somewhat constrained by raw material supplies, Chu said productivity gains would likely be minimal between 100% and 200%. Professor Huang Dexian of Tsinghua University's Department of Automation said, Robots can free workers from the risky and repetitive tasks associated with the bomb-making process. This will create new jobs such as control optimization, hardware maintenance, and technical upgrades. This will give us a stronger, healthier, and happier defense force. Although Chu notes that China is not in a state of preparing for war and filling up its arsenal at breakneck speed, its new manufacturing capacity could spur other countries to produce weapons, gas at a faster rate or encourage them to speed up their production, develop their own AI projects for fear of being overwhelmed. It is true that automation can improve productivity and have a positive impact on society, but experts warn that we also need to be wary of how much automation is pushed without proper planning. That's what John Wolfstall, a non-resident researcher at Harvard University's Atomic Management Project, suggests society should be cautious of, saying, the possible benefits are endless, but there are also risks. So what do you think about China's AI advancement? Is it going to be a boon or a bane? Tell your thoughts in the comment box. Don't forget to subscribe and smash the like button. Hit the bell icon to stay tuned.